Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve problem 1-93 that is taken from chapter number 1, Stress and book name is Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler. So, statement is the rod A, B and C, D are made up of steel. Determine their smallest diameter so they, that they can support the dead load shown. The beam is assumed to be pin connected at A and C. Use LRFD method where the resistance factor for steel in tension is 0 0.9 and the red load factor is 1.4. The failure stress is 3345 megapascal. So you can see this is beam AC that is supported by two rod AB and CD that are made up of steel. The red load is shown over here. So you have, these are the pin supported at point A and C. So using L load and resistance factor design method. So you have to calculate the diameter of rod AB and this diameter of rod CD. So let's start with the solution. So you can see that due to this dead load layer, there will be a tensile stress in rod AB and CD. As a result, this rod exert a vertical force FAB on this beam and FCD on this beam. Clear? So we'll find this FA and FCD by using equation of equilibrium. So it is better to draw a separate few bar diagram for, uh, for saving time. I am already drawing over here. So this is FAB, which is the force that is, that is exerted by this rod on this beam and this is FAC. So we'll find this FA and FAB and FAC by using equation of equilibrium. So first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point A is equal to zero, taking the counterclockwise moment as positive. So about point A, the first force which is producing moment is FAC and perpendicular distance is three plus three plus two plus two, which is 10. And this is producing counterclockwise movement, so it will be positive. So I will write FAC multiply by 10. The second movement which is produced by this 5 kN load and perpendicular distance is this 7 um, meter. And this is producing clockwise, so it will be negative. So I will write minus 5 into 7. The third load which is producing movement is 6 into perpendicular distance is 4 meter and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative. So I will write minus 6 into 4 and the last force which is producing movement about point A is 4 into perpendicular distance is 2 and this is producing clockwise so it will be negative. So minus 4 into 2 is equal to 0. So we will get 10 FAC is equal to 67 point 67 kilo newton and from here this fac will be equal to 6.70 kilo newton now this is fac so we can find f a b by using another equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point C is equal to zero and taking the counterclockwise movement. So you can see that about point C first movement is F A B and perpendicular distance is 10. This is producing clockwise movement. So it will be negative. So I will write minus F A B into 10 clear. The second movement will be four into perpendicular distance is this eight and this is producing counterclockwise movement. So it will be positive. So I will write 4 into 8. This force is producing 6 multiplied by 6 and that is counterclockwise so it will be positive. So I will write plus 6 multiplied by 6 and the last force is 5 into perpendicular distance is 3 and this is also counterclockwise. And the sum of all moment about point C is equal to 0. Okay. So from here, when you calculate it, you will get FAB is equal to 8.30 kilo Newton. You can also find this by using this equation that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive. So FAB minus four kilo Newton minus six minus five 
plus 6.70 is equal to 0. So FAB is equal to minus 15 plus 6.70 is equal to 0. So FAB will be equal to 8.30 kilonewton. So you can use any of this in order to find this. But this one is the simplest one. Now we have FAB and F. A, B and F, A, C, we have been given as factored load. So we will find factor load because you can see that we have been given dead load factor is 1.4. So this load F, A, B will be increased by 1.4 times. So 1.4 multiplied by F, A, B is uh, 8.30. So this load will be increased. So it will be equal to 11.62 kilonewton. And similarly, FAC will be also increased by 1.4 because the dead load factor is given. So we have to multiply it. So this will be equal to 9.38 kilonewton. Now, using LRFD load and resistance factor design method clear by using this we know that this factor which is given as uh, pi 0 0.9 so this 0 0.9 into 0 0.9 0 0.9 into failure will be equal to for for rod or for rod AB 0 0.9 into failure will be equal to FAB because this is in tens tensile this is given resistant resistance factor for steel intention is 0 0.9 so this will be equal to area of AB clear now what we will do is that from here 0 0.9 failure stress is given as 345 megapascal so multiply by 345 into 10 to power 6 clear is equal to fab fab is 11.62 and 10 to power 3 will convert it into newton divide by area so pi by 4 dab square clear so what we are going to calculate is we are going to calculate DAB. So DAB square is equal to 11.62 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 0 0.9 into 345 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 multiplied by pi by 4. And if you take square root on both sides, so you will get DAB will be equal to 0 0.00690 meter. Our DAB will be equal to 6.90 millimeter. So this is the diameter of rod AB. Now for rod for rod AC we will get 0 0.9 multiplied by failure is equal to FAC divided by area AC. So definitely you will get this will be equal to FAC divide by area AC which is pi by 4 DAC square so from here you will get DAC square will be equal to FAC divided by 0 0.9 multiply by failure stress into pi by 4 and taking the square root on both sides will give you FAC is 9.38 so 9.38 into kilo so 10 is to power 3 divide by 0 0.9 failure stress is 345 megapascal so 345 into 10 is to power 6 pascal and pi by 4 so from here d this d a c will be equal to 0 0.00620 meter or this DAC will be equal to 6.20 millimeter, which is the diameter of rod AC. So this is diameter of rod AB and this is diameter of rod AC. And that was all about this problem 1-93. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel, 
then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching and supporting me.